and then demographic diversity, composition. So there are 33 million people in Morocco, or a little, a lot over that, um, nearing 34 million. And basically 99% of the citizens of Morocco are Arab Amazir. So they are Moroccan. But again, Amazir, that comes into play because there are specific Amazir communities, um, especially in central and south Morocco. And Amazir means the free ones or just really the native Moroccans. But again, 99% is just Arab Amazir. Um, and then the other 1% is basically anyone else. And when Andrew talks about religious diversity, the religious diversity really follows the ethnic diversity. So the other 1% also comprise the other 1% of religions. So there's a lot of correlation between that. And then beyond that, there are about 40,000 or, or more, maybe 50,000 regular migrants, um, a lot of which come from sub-Saharan Africa. And even though that doesn't seem like a lot compared with 33 million people in Morocco, it's a very visible population and that has a lot of manifestations in different ways. This is from a photo series by Leila Alawi. She's a Moroccan photographer and social advocate um, who died earlier last year in 2016. Um, but she did this photo series because she wanted to photograph like Moroccans or in every aspect of Moroccan, Moroccanness or Moroccan beings uh, in their native or, or modern glories. And these are, this is like different sartorial manifestations from like the mountains or from the South really. Um, and Moroccans are in every shade, every background. And so slavery did exist in Morocco and that legacy survives to this day, mainly in the form of Ganawa, which is music and poetry and dance, a mix of all of those that Black Moroccans created similar to African-American spirituals to preserve their culture when they were brought to Morocco. And uh, um, you could, uh, so last year I did a presentation about Morocco in, uh, in my music class and I like to compare Nawa to American blues. It has uh, it has the same spirit of, of you know work of uh, working songs. They become working songs, and today they are more than that because they just represent this whole cult, Moroccan culture of descendant of uh, people who were slaves in Morocco. And so that's kind of a demographic of its own, like Black Moroccans, and now is just an amazing manifestation of that. This is a picture of me and another participant, Patrick, with the migrants that we volunteer with and facilitate recreational games with. So there is a lot of diversity in Morocco but specifically concerning the migrant situation, there's a lot of issues with inclusion and we've just gotten to witness that firsthand just by being with them and understanding their experiences. So there is a bit of colorism um, with regards to diversity because in general, if you do appear to be from Sub-Saharan Africa, you might be assumed to be a menace to society or like it might make people uncomfortable because even though there aren't that many migrants relative to the entire population, there's a visible presence and sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, society is as inclusive as it could be and do you guys have any commentary on like the migrants and how that like how people um, view them or yeah as you said most of the migrants come to big cities to Rabat to um, Casablanca and uh, sometimes Morocco for the past 20 years was a country that was only a passage for migrants. They would stay here for a couple of months before eventually going to Europe. But now and it, it has been more and more the fact that Morocco has become a, a country that receives migrants that stay long term in Morocco. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. And then this last picture is me, Andrew, Catherine. We attended a Fulbright Alumni Association conference um, and the topic was immigration, integration, and citizenship. And so with all of the demographic diversity, there is a lot of talk about how do we include and how do we go beyond diversity? How do we move towards inclusion? Um, and that was a really enlightening conference for me and I think for you guys as well. So that concludes my bit about demographic diversity. Thank you.